The Bible says, give us this day our daily bread. That's how we're supposed to pray, right? In Psalm 37, he'll give us what we need. Sometimes he gives us what we want. But we can be sure that our bread and our water will be sured. Well, friends, we are living in a time of famine. And in the same way that God supplied the needs of Elijah on a daily basis, he was preparing him in that cutting place for a great work. God is wanting to prepare you for the time of trouble and a famine that is coming for a great work. Are you feeding your soul? Are you receiving? You know, the birds did not drop the food in Elijah's mouth. They probably dropped it on the rock and then he had to put it in his mouth and chew it and swallow it. You've got Bibles probably by your bedside and your nightstand on your bookshelf. Are you feeding on the Word of God on a daily basis? You know, most of us, there's so much we could do. You, Bible tapes, sermons in your car. You need some? I'll give you some. People give me hundreds of them. We could listen to Christian stations. Just surround yourself with the Word of God because I really think we need to work, especially in this age, to counteract all of the bad that uh, we see. You know, where sin abounds, grace needs to abound, right? And we, especially, if we're going to be fed during this time of famine, need to make some effort to receive what God has provided. Elijah's name means, my God is Jehovah. His name meant, I have accepted him as my God, no matter what anyone else does. If it seems like everyone else is bowing to Baal, I'm going to worship the Lord. Friends, we're living in that day now where even those who claim to be Christians unwittingly are worshiping Baal. If today you want to say, I'm going to trust Jesus during this time of trouble, I'm going to commit my life to him, I want my name to be synonymous with God being my God. There may be some here today, you've been compromising with the times in which we live, maybe you've been experiencing the results of the famine in the land. If you'd like to come and rededicate your life to the Lord, or maybe renew your decision to receive what God provides on a daily basis. I invite you to come to the front. We want to have special prayer for you. Maybe you know you're not ready for what's coming and you want to be ready and say, Lord, make me an Elijah in these last days. Please come. We'll have special prayer together. This first lesson in Elijah has some tough illustrations. Elijah had to pray some tough prayers for people he loved to go through some tough experiences. He may not have realized that he too was going to have to live for a long time in a cutting place so God could prepare and polish him and chisel his character for a great work. Are you willing to pray with Elijah, Lord? We're giving you permission to do whatever you're needing to do to bring revival to your people, to save my loved ones who are lost. And Lord, even if it means that my brook needs to dry up, you've got my permission to do whatever it takes to get us ready to take that chariot ride to heaven. Is that your desire? I'm sincere, friends, church family, when I say, I think this next few weeks together as we study the life of Elijah, God is going to bring us to the brook Cherith and prepare us for things coming. I hope you'll listen carefully and come and bring your friends. I believe that this is present truth we need to hear for the hour in which we live. Could we kneel as we pray? Father in heaven, Lord, we are living in a time when we know that uh, Ahab, the government, is being influenced by Jezebel, a counterfeit church, and that the false teachings and, and uh, false prophets are becoming very popular while the prophets of God are being persecuted and going into hiding. Lord, I pray that you will now bring a revival into the land that modern Elijahs will be willing to stand up and be heard, to speak the truth boldly and in love. Lord, I pray that we can also trust as we enter these final chapters of the world's history, that we can trust, Lord, that you will take care of us, that we don't need to be uh, packing up beans and rice and buckets and we can live by faith. I pray that our provision, that our preparation will be feeding on the Word of God. Lord, I pray that we can receive what the the birds of your choosing bring. And it's so comforting to know that in the same way those ravens were feeding Elijah just like he was their chick, that you love us. You've told us that you long for us to gather to you as a mother hen her chicks. And you want to lay down your life to save each one of us. Lord, I pray that uh, 
each one of us, Lord, can hear the Holy Spirit speaking right now. You have our permission, Lord, to bring us through whatever trials and whatever cutting place we may need to endure to be ready for the great work you have us to do and ultimately eternity. I pray that we'll not lose faith as we witness the brook drying up, Lord, but I pray that we will be encouraged that your supernatural provision will not fail. Bless us, Lord, now as we go from this place. I pray that we can live by faith and please you in all that we say and do. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen.